Hi, thanks for watching. I uh, wanted to do a uh, quick video about um, a couple of Omega Seamaster Professionals uh, Bond watches that uh, really don't get a lot of attention, um, which are namely the white dial version. Uh, there is a current white dial uh, Omega Seamaster Professional with a black bezel, which is actually quite popular, um, but there hadn't been one for, for some time. Um, and these are actually the same reference number watch. They are um, the Seamaster 2532.20 um, from the mid to late 90s. And um, they originally uh, came with a uh, aluminum uh, unpainted bezel as you see on the uh, watch on the right. The watch on the left, which I've done a video on before, um, has a bezel from a 2254.50 Omega uh, swapped. Um, from what I understand, you, you may not be able to swap every bezel between the uh, Seamaster family, but uh, a lot of times you can, and that's this is one instance where it worked out and they fit um, perfectly fine. Um, if you take a look at these two watches, you'll also notice another difference, and that is the uh, color of the loom on the uh, indices. If you see the uh, watch on the right is a more yellowish uh, patinaed color you could say and the watch on the left um, looks closer to how it did when it was new. Uh, the reason is the watch on the right uses uh, tritium and the watch on the left uh, has super luminova loom. Um, this change occurred I believe around 1997 or 8 um, somewhere in that ballpark so even though these are the same exact uh, watch in terms of reference number uh, Omega use different loom on them and um, I always thought uh, you know I'd prefer to have one of the newer ones like the one on the left with the super luminova just because the color doesn't deteriorate on that one um, the tritium you know would hold uh, a charge for a while so that's where it had the advantage but um, tritium has a half-life and eventually uh, stops glowing altogether and actually starts yellowing like you see here. Um, I got the uh, older watch, this one, with the uh, on the brown strap uh, more recently uh, for the purpose of comparing uh, with the newer loom and I actually found that the deterioration or the patina of the uh, loom really made the watch look uh, interesting and actually paired it really well with any kind of strap with a beige or brown tone in it as you can see here um, these are a couple of other straps I thought would uh, make for a good pairing with this watch um, I just wanted to compare the two types of loom I read about it and I was able to hold them in hand and um, see the difference I thought I'd uh, be an interesting subject matter to share um, definitely uh, shows you how uh, the color of the loom can really change the look of the watch and uh, sometimes you know open up possibilities like the straps you see here so thanks for watching